Hey, what's up, Opinionated family? Welcome to another episode of the Opinionated Podcast. We are here. And what we haven't done in a while, we went live. Mm. It's been a while since we went live. We still exist. Yeah, we we do live. still exist. Niggas don't think the podcast goes on because we don't go live anymore. But That's we... right, but we're here. The claps. The appropriate the claps. What's up? So, like, you know what I'm saying? We are all... Like I said, we are our older gentlemen. We all had elder statements men's holding it the fuck down, and we are all settled down happily in relationships. Some married, two of us on our way to be married and shit like that. But at the beginning, there was a process to get to the stage and get to the stage where we at now. We went through went through a few females in our life, and you know, a few relationships, couple serious, couple not, you know. And it's basically, you know, we're trying to break it down to people. When is there a good time to settle down? And what things you should consider with settling down with somebody? You know, somebody you want to make, you know, your end-all, be-all. You know, somebody you want to grow old with and everything like that. So I'm going to hit, like, five different things, man, to know, you know, if this person is the one. My question, how many people our age do you think still live in, like, Bill Bellamy trying to be a player? There's a lot. There's still guys that are 50 years old who do not know when to hang it the fuck up. And their dating pool is is shrinking. They like these the ones that the, the cougars that look bad, the young boys nowadays is like more into the cougars and they are snatching these old cougars up with these bodies. You I know. Think, I think it depends on you where you're at in life also, man. If you're a bit of a success and you're in your 50s, I think the dating pool kind of opens up. Uh, yeah, that that too. Hey, same thing, but it also shrinks for the other side too. It shrinks for the women because it's like maybe they've been hopping around and now they're like, damn, I can't, me, I can't find nobody successful. You know, I got to, you know, everything is tight as it used to be. Maybe you had a kid or two and probably they're grown by now. And mm. so, you know, it ain't mm. looking the way and that box ain't as tight as it used to be. That stomach ain't as tight as it used to be. Same thing Loose for us. Box. Same for us guys, man, you know. Kegels. Our stomach, our stomach ain't as tight as it used to be. Um, to get the happy town, you got to pop a pill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For some for dudes, me. that is. Some dudes that some dudes are not settling down and still eating Viagra's to get right. Let's be real. There are to keep up are, some of them to keep up with the frequency, maybe. But yeah, I don't, I don't. <sighs> we well, talking about 50s, right? I'm talking about 50s and 60s. There are some dudes 50s in there. and 60s. Yeah, some dudes in. Some dudes in their 50 popping these pills. How, nigga, there's, a, there's some dudes in very bad, poor health in their 40s that are eating these pills. So don't so get let me ask you, it. What's better, the, the gas station one or the Viagra? They say you're not supposed to take them gas station jobs. I'm asking, though. Kev has taken them before. I, I take them both. Viagra. I'm about to say, Kev has done the list. Well, I've done the whole gauntlet shit. The, uh, the gauntlet is crazy. The gas, the, the gas <laughs> station. The, <laughs> the gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had my penis through the ringer. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. I, I, I need you arrested. Oh. <laughs> I need you fucking yo. arrested immediately. I ran my penis through the ringer is <laughs> the statement of the night. So, <laughs> listen. It's a jail <laughs> term. The, ga- <laughs> the gas station joints, the gas station joints is meant for you at the younger age. The gas, jo- jo- the gas station joints are meant for you can get right. You already can get right. You already get hard. The gas station is just that shit is just straight up pure endurance. You busting that that motherfucker still rock hard. It's still oh, I'll take one. Yeah, it's the, you know what I mean. You you want an obliterator to show that you're the man. Like it, it, it holds you up from coming though. Don't get it twisted. It, it it does something where it keeps you from busting too early. Yo, I like that though. I'm gonna tell you why, right? Because to me, that's vacation sex. Oh. I like that because if she ever thinks that you plan. That's you got a bullet in the chamber. That's, yep, yeah. that's what you do. Like, oh, you think I'm playing? Like, you think I'm somebody to play with? All right, let me show you what it really is. on. Let me show <laughs> let you me. what it has been. And fucking just. Let me pop this pill real quick. <laughs> Give me 45 minutes to an hour. You yeah. want to have intelligent conversation before I fucking desecrate your bones? Uh-huh. <laughs> just hey. just to prove that you still who you who you who you advertised to be. But, did you, did, but the thing is with them, you're shooting off. Feels like you're shooting off blanks. It's, you know, what I mean, you can feel the you feel the sensation like go part. feel the sensation going down the hole. It ain't nothing coming out. But when it does release, when it finally like releases the hey, let it go, let it's it go. Style. <laughs> yeah. It shoots out like Spider Man's web. Like, 
What the fuck? <laughs> <He> says, <laughs> Why is why are shit, you shooting go, why are you shooting ghost loads? Your shit doing your shit doing this everybody says, every every take. man knows what that feeling is. You feel like <clears throat> oh, I'm about you get that I'm about to come feeling, but nothing comes out. I haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, nah, so I don't know what when that I'm is. about to come. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. That's it's just I never I never took one of them pills. I never why. took the pills, but it, like you know how you get to that point where you're like your endurance is way up, and yeah. you basically <laughs> you're you're going and going, and it's not going. It's not coming. I like that. That's a good box. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about <laughs> the other agrees. Show. <laughs> yeah, so. He agrees. So now they say the other the other thing is uh the other one is is the Viagra. You take that guy, that motherfucker, it just don't you, you ever hear that commercial if it don't go down in four hours, contact your doctor. You can you can shoot a motherfucker. You can shoot a cannon off. You can shoot it off. He, that motherfucker is still like, ah, I'm going to leave it up for a couple more minutes. Just keep hammering away. Even though your body doesn't have the energy to keep stroking because the nut took something out of your body, but it didn't take anything out of your penis because it's just constantly pushing blood down there. Now you're like, I just want to give up because I bust the nut and I just want to go to sleep. But she's like, it's still hard. Well, let me lay on my back. She so has I can to yeah, just let me lay on my back so I can catch my breath. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what's going on down there. Uh, she, gotta you, she gotta let you know. Yeah, just lay on your back. I got you. You know, still up there. And you oh, let nah. her. You let her do some work because your body's your body didn't got depleted of the juices. Nah, mine yeah. don't give up. Mine will be like you on your own with that shit. I'm done. Nah, your dick will do one of these notes. Your dick will like it. First July. <laughs> your dick will be like yeah, psych. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go it'll lean, it'll lean to the side like this, and like psych, it's like nah, keep going. Kev did that laugh. Like, yeah, I, I, I can't <laughs> laugh. I can't <laughs> laugh, dude. I can't <laughs> laugh. <laughs> people, people don't realize I was just in a car accident not too long ago, so I can't laugh because my where the seatbelt was on at like I don't know if it crushed my internals, but something's going wrong and it's fucking me up, so I can't laugh. But yeah, so. It, yeah, we're talking. We're getting off the subject, man. So okay, I'm just you're supposed to do. Whomp, whomp, I didn't want to do it. There. I just felt like I had my finger there, but I was like, man, that might be a little inappropriate. <laughs> I just want him to laugh so he could just <laughs> so I so can just die could, over I the pain. And Kevin looked at me. He's like, man, fuck you, nigga. They want me to laugh so I can fall out of my chair and be on the ground in pain, hurt, or hold my stomach. No, up. I don't want that. Yeah, he does. So, listen, man, back to what we're talking about, man. We're talking about sex and everything like that just to lighten the mood. But basically, man, things you need to know when it's time to settle down. Like I said, early, like I was telling earlier, you, you 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 run through some people, you go through some people, relationships might be right, some might be wrong. But here goes some things to look at, man. You know, the first thing you want to look at when you first start talking to somebody, yo, is make sure that uh, the connection is strong. Like, make sure that you know that you're really feeling this person this is not no fluke and you can actually see yourself settling in with this person and that doesn't necessarily mean it happens within the first week yo something like that takes years being with a person having ups and downs and, and actually going through some shit and i know we all been in relationships so i know we all can speak on this shit like i had my ups and my downs very 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 good highs in very very low lows with the person i'm with now and shit so that's how i know this is the person i want to be with because it's like yo i done been through all wide ranges of emotions with her and and it's we're still going you know what i'm saying so that's me personally speaking for myself i can't speak to everybody like how do you all know or y'all feel that y'all connection is strong with the person you want to be with um, well, for me, I just can't picture life without them being there. Uh, it'll be what five years now that I've been with my fiance, <clears throat> and I mean, we don't we don't even argue no more. I mean, we just when we get upset, we just take time to each other. I mean, you know how argument may start, but it'll just be like, you know what, this ain't even worth it. I'm gonna go do my thing for a little bit, you go watch TV or whatever, and then we'll reconvene later, you know, what I mean, when we're not as aggressive with the situation That's it took smart. some time to do that That's smart. it took us years to learn that we just we just gotta let each other be not in order for us to be able to just be okay to conversate about it later because it's hard for us to to 
have an articulate conversation being angry. A lot of times, especially like with both of us, we like to take shots and it's terrible quality. But we know that like at each other, like if, if something like sometimes we'll say stuff to hurt each other, not even intending on hurting each other. You know what I mean? Like, okay. like it's something that you may not appreciate, but the way you say it is just like, well, damn, you could have brought that in a better light than being a dickhead about it. You know what I mean? And that, and that's the that's the route that will go. It took us some time to learn, like, yo, we just got to separate for a little bit. We come back and then ask each other, like, yo, what's up with you? What? what you know what I mean? And then we can have an articulate conversation about the scenario. That's smart. But but it took a while to get there. Mm. Me being able to do that alone lets me know that I want to be with this person because I'm taking the time to understand what she needs from me and vice versa so we can actually get past any bad situation. You know what I mean? And we have way more good times than we have bad times. So it's not like we go through that often. And it's usually something minuscule, like a comment that was said or, you know, probably me saying something, thinking I'm funny and maybe hurting her feelings. She'll go along with it right then. But then later on, she'll, she'll just have an attitude. Or she'll ignore me. And then I got to find out what's going on <clears throat> because she wants to take time to herself about it. You know what I mean? But you got to stop saying racial jokes, man. Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. You got to smile for that one. I won't. Be like, oh, I'm about to get ready to go. What's going to take you so long? You don't wash anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, that is the type of comments that I might make. You see, you see Kev over here? He want to smile so bad, but he want to laugh, but he trying to hold it back. <laughs> Word up. Yeah. I mean, we make, we make funny comments. Kev, is, Kev should know. Kev, my wife can't come around him without him oh, saying something racist as a joke. You know what I mean? And before he does anything, it's always a disclaimer. Like we're not talking about you. We're not talking about you, cuz. But I'll be like, but kind of. And she'll, and she'll look around like, oh, okay, I must be the good one. <laughs> well, I just say not all white people, <laughs> bro. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, man. I just knew. <laughs> I gotta continue with this. I just knew. I don't know. It took it took a long time. It took some ups, some downs, some breakups, and some stuff like that. But. I think uh, the old saying is true. When you know, you know. For me, things click in, things click, and they click like um, I have epiphanies, you know, and you can't rush epiphanies. And my epiphany might be, you know, something that involves some situations that I've been in and what happened and, and what, what were the outcomes. And when you start to realize certain things, you say, oh, shit, you know what? That's because this is exactly where I was supposed to be this whole time. You know what I mean? It's not like I don't I don't get it from wishing that different things happen. The right things happened and I'm right where I'm supposed to be. And then that's when I was like, oh, this makes sense. And she's on the same shit. So that's what happened when I officially um, got taken off the market. Like shit just made sense. And that's the way I take things in. Well, you know, it, it, and it sounds good because we all in the in a good spot who we with now. But let's be real, it it was at a point in time where you had that same feeling for somebody else, and you thought, you know what I mean, I, come on, man, let's be real. I'm I'm not, not even gonna say it. I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a certain situation, so that it's yeah, not you you you. But I get been, what you're saying. But you've been with E for yeah over almost, a decade, right? Almost twenty years. So I say over a decade, twenty years, twenty uh, years. I, I be Before my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. Damn, almost. We've been married for over a decade. But That's what yeah. I thought. Well, yeah, yeah. we've been well, together for a well, long time. I, I've been in relationships, and I've been in a lot of relationships in and out. And I've been in, in some that went, you know what I mean, went a good distance. And I thought, hey, man, this is the person I want to be with. This is the person I can't see myself without, you know what I mean? And I had, and it was, but it's always, which we're going to get into later, more topics that, you know, let you know that you finally found, you know, the person you're supposed to settle down with. But, I thought, hey, man, this is who I'm supposed to be with. But I caught myself, like, thinking I'm having a strong connection, but I would see another female, like, damn, I would like to hit that. 
or damn, I'm going to hit that or damn, I, I hit that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I fucked up the connection that we had and shit like that. And it wasn't as strong as I thought it would be because it's like, you know what? I don't I would say to myself, oh, I can't see myself without her. Then two or three years later, like, man, I got to get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't want to do this shit no more. Like, I, I want to be free. And I think like a lot of people say that comes with, <clears throat> oh, you, you got to get older and you got to get more mature. But I see motherfuckers in their 50s still doing the same thing, still running around in the streets and everything like that and, and second guessing the person they with and, and everything like that. That's why a good connection, you will know when, OK, this is who I'm supposed to be with. Yeah, you will get a good definite sign. This is who I'm supposed to be with everything that was before here was just preparation in in order for me to be a better person for this person I'm with now. But well, well, yeah, that's 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 a big. So I was going to bring up the fact that it's also about where you are in life, too. If you feel like you're in an unsure position in life, like like you're, you know, a guy, you don't really got your career together. You don't really got, you know, everything that you would like to have. I'm not talking about the things like houses and stuff like that, but just you're not where you're supposed to be. You still want to be free, as you said earlier. I think that comes into play, too, because you like, yo, I'm not ready to be like, I know I'm not ready to be with one woman and that's it or with one man and that's it. Like, that's that's really why I think what it is too. men be in their own heads a lot or where they think they should be in life before they do something. And I think that's um, that's due to two things, maturity, ignorance. Um, and, and I'm going to say a third thing. And honestly, sometimes they be right. Yeah. What Sometimes about what about environment or you know your lifestyle? Like, let's say for example, and I'm gonna use Kev f- for this example. <clears throat> Kev, let's say you were out outlandishly rich, and you've been living you know the regular life of you do parties and you got shows and you're just out and about a lot. You don't feel like you got time to be with to be or take care of one woman but you're 50 years old or, or you're 40 right now you know what i mean like so we'll use your age now you know what i mean do you think that that is an acceptable reason for you to just be like no nah, i'm gonna just keep doing my thing because you don't you you got the ability to do it i think anybody will get bored of that lifestyle because you are anybody you don't want to die alone so going back to making sure the connection is strong. I will try to date somebody that is cool and accustomed to my lifestyle. And I will see if the connection is real. Like you're not really, and that's a hard thing. You got money and you're successful. Determine if somebody's there for you or they're there for your money, because right now this is going to date the episode, but who cares? You know, the young kid Zion's going through something right now. Allegedly he got, he's fucking with a porn star and she's putting his whole business out there. And maybe when he was fucking with her, he thought, you know, she's for me. You know, I can do the dibble and the dabble and shit oh, like that. Well, she she thought it was. She thought they was didn't like, she no, she did. her face. Didn't so what would they thought it was? Face or something yeah, like that? she that's fake. But they it, something. Well, I'm telling you, when I say that, when I say that, they didn't think each other was for each other. No, it was something. It was something fun for him to do. I've heard people break this down. I'm gonna say it real quick, then you get back to your point. I heard people break the situation down, so I'm going to give my synopsis of what I think that particular thing is. This man is a young boy. He's, what, 22? Yeah. 22 years old. Mar- was it Mariah Mills? Yeah, the, whatever she was. Yeah. She was doing porn when this nigga was a young boy. So that means when he watched porn, who do you think he watched? He was jacking off to her. Jacking off to her. That's just something that he... <laughs> That's just something that he wanted to do for a long time, and he was able to do it because he's in the NBA. To her, for him, he's a lick. He's a nigga with the bread. I forget who was paying who. I th- was he paying her or was he paying the other? He's girl? paying her, and he and I a guess he's said, something thousand dollars a month. And he settled down, and she's oh, like for her, and she what? set yeah. And he settled down. He started to settle down. He got his, his his girl. He went now pregnant, and he was like trying to put that. Mm-hmm. Put right, do right by that, and other chick is like, uh, 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 nah, you're not doing that shit. But that—that's what I'm saying. That's what be—that's what be the hard thing is like. 
like who's fucking there for me? You know what I'm saying? And and with none of that, them. none of the them. Answer. So with that being said, <laughs> find the connection. The next thing you would say, you know, because all sex aside, you, you know, uh, great communication is a fucking key to any any relationship, man. Because eventually, the sex and relationship dies down, man, and you got to start, you know being able to, to to communicate with this other person that you're going to, you know, plan on being with, you know, so, you know, talk to him. Like Kev was talking about earlier about him in, in the arguments, them walking away and coming back, talking, talking to each other with a level head and understanding each other's feelings and everything like that. That all plays in communication because there's one thing to be somebody hears what you're saying and somebody understanding what you're saying. I can hear in the argument. You can just hear the motherfucker talking all day long. You hear what they saying. You hear everything they. You just in in one ear, not the other. The other thing is <clears throat> understanding what they're saying, understanding their feeling, understanding their point, how to you know how they're coming across, understanding how you might have made them feel in the situation that y'all got yourself into. That's why communication really plays a big part in a relationship. Yeah. So that's why a lot of a lot of my early relationships when I was younger was just, you know, you thought you was doing the thing, but it was just lust. I was just in lust. It was like, yo, we just fucking, da -da. we just having fun. We going here. Everything is cool. When all that shit slows down, it's like, man, I can't have a two second conversation with you without you becoming fucking annoying. Like, I don't, I'm not talking to you for the rest of my life. Like, I'm not settling down with you the rest of my life. This shit's going to be whack. It's because your screening process is trash. Hey man, fat ass, big titties, cute face. That's a bad screening price list. Then hey, they ain't got to have all three, yes. but they got at least yes, have it is. At least got to have, 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 have two to three. Sometimes the one. The thing about it is when <laughs> when you, I feel like when we were younger, we had different ideas of what we wanted out of life when it included people. You know what I mean? And you thought you found something, and as it took time for it to progress for you to realize that this ain't it. And you kind of feel like it was a waste of time. You know what I mean? Because the, depending on the situation of, of what came out of it, I mean, some of us got kids with people that we're not with no more. And, you know, and some, we just were able to detach and keep it moving, but you feel like, you know what I mean? Like, damn, I, I took all this time to try to, figure this situation out and now I'm starting all over again. Like for us now, it's like a blessing. I see it like a, a blessing in disguise because I had to learn myself through other people to, to get to where I'm at right now, to be the person that I am with the person that I'm with. You know what I mean? And it took a long fucking time to get there for me mentally because of the ideas that I had already placed there of what I think, a person should do or how things should go or how I feel like I'm, I'm right about a scenario and takes time to realize, Oh shit, I could have probably handled that differently. Right. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so when we get to the age that we're at now, as our mentality changes and has changed, we kind of see the difference of, of, of what we were and what we want. You know what I mean? Because you don't want the sh you don't want the same shit you wanted ten years ago. No. You know what I mean? At least not everything. No, I don't want the majority talking. of things that 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 you go through now. You have different goals. You have different obligations. You know what I mean? That you you have to attain and and make sure that everybody's good. You didn't have that ten years ago. No, I don't think that. I don't think I, like like the, back to the communication skills. I don't think I knew how to break it down to that person what I was looking for. You know yeah, I, mean? I can it agree. Was, to it, that. it was just, it was just, it was just easy to go hang out, watch a movie. You know what I mean? Say you love them, kiss them, and then you're in the bed, you have sex, and you wake up the next day. You know what I'm saying? You just have a that steady routine. You think this you really love me? Hey, you think you, I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought I did. You know, that's what you thought was love. But then, I mean, now, like looking back, do you think you really loved them? I and can I'm say, scared. I can say, is a hand a small small very small handful of people that i probably love so i did a lot but it's a handful of people i can say i actually love i mean i mean that was deep in love with and if i think i was more mature with probably when i went somewhere a little bit farther 
but I didn't have the ways of articulating shit when shit went left. You know what I mean? When shit went left with that person, how to, you know what I mean? Talk, you know, talk our way around this shit. Shit went left. It was like, man, fuck you. Hit y'all niggas up. What y'all doing tonight? I'm out. It was out easier this. to be like, I'm out. Fuck I'm, it. Yeah, I'm out this bitch. Instead, it's like, yo, like, instead of saying, yo, what the fuck is the problem? Like, like, a prime example. I was with, uh, I ain't gonna name her name, but I was with somebody for a long time. Y'all knew who she was. I was with her for a long time, and the thing was between me and her it was like it was the shit was everything else was cool. But the financial situation was fucked up. It's like all the financial shit fell on me, and I didn't know how to articulate with her. Like, yo, man, you financially got to start pulling your weight without hurting her feelings, but but also keeping it straightforward with this motherfucker. Like, yo, I'm gonna get to the point, but I ain't trying to hurt your feelings. But communicate, like, yo, if you start pulling your shit financially in the right direction, this, you know, our relationship would start to take a different course. Instead, I just got pissed at the situation. You don't we just, I don't want to deal with her. I don't want to deal with this shit. Like <clears throat> looking at other females in their situations, like, all right, she likes she got a car. She says she got her own spot. I'm just gonna go the fuck over there. I'm gonna go fucking start fucking with her. Like I ain't fuck with this nigga no more. She 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 on some bum shit. Have a gold digger. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a gold. I wasn't a gold digger, but it's like yo man, I'm not fucking. Oh, okay. It's like yo, it's like I'm like I'm getting tired of str- I'm getting tired of struggling, and I didn't know how to articulate that shit the right way to her. And say yo, listen, the reason to our arguments is yo, this is the this is the root of everything right now. I think if we fucking get this shit right here straight, talk, you know, had to talk with her a long conversation. Yo, we get this straight. I think we could have something in the future. That's why it's a lot of people. Like I said, on the opposite end of the spectrum, there are people who are 50 or not so down. There's a lot of people or with somebody they was with in high school. You know what I'm saying? Because they had the good communication skills with their partner to break shit down to them to, to, to overcome these obstacles. Let me, let me ask you, um, and, and I mean you too. I mean you as well. That person that you're speaking of, I don't know who that is, and I'm not going to bring it up, but would you say that wherever they are now, does it look like they kind of got that part down pat now? Like the the oh yeah, the financial. Like you get what I'm saying. Like some people, yeah. just like you, just like me, we ain't ready. Yeah, they, man. Listen, you know? that that person got their shit down. I think they're who the person they, they're married now. I think they they got kids now. Right. They look happy. I think that's who they was. So I guess that was God' way of saying, "Hey, y'all two not meant to be together." Oh, and it's yeah. and I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Word. Those are the one a handful of people I can say I love, and I'm glad you're Got in you. that. You're in that space. You will never. I don't give a fuck if I'm single. You will never have a hey big head text for me or let's get together text from. It's nothing. I'm not even coming into your life no more. We're gone. You separated. You look happy. I don't want to dig up no old feelings, no old emotions. You're happy. I'm extremely happy. Let's just stay where the fuck we at in life. Is I think it was good that we didn't have the communication skills. I think because we split up and we had a, a good relate, you know, we had a strong relationship that we started working on them qualities with each other. You know what I'm saying? The connection and the communication and the other couple I'm going to get into later in, the, in this conversation. But I learned how to start talking. Even with my, my, my girl went now and her, like I didn't have no good community. I did not have great communication skills with her in our earlier stages of our relationship. I was 27 years old. The fuck I knew about communicating. You know what I'm saying? All I wanted to do was party, hit a strip club, and hang with my homies. And not for nothing, that is a hard thing to do. Have open communication, being vulnerable, um, trying to understand somebody else's point of view and get your point across at the same time, not getting offended about things, being open-minded when someone else is telling you something about yourself, being able to understand that truth about yourself, that shit's hard to do. I mean, once you start doing it, it becomes easier and easier because you got to realize that you nobody's perfect. There is a fault within you at some point, and it's going to affect somebody that you're with. Something that you do, you're not going to do everything perfectly. So you got to be able to take that criticism and and be able to run with that and see how to change it or or you know appease that person to a point where they understand that you're trying 
if you're if you're even willing to change it yeah so at some points ain't willing to change nothing if you're too you know if you're either you don't feel like that person is worth that change or you're too um too young to realize no nah, i don't want to change that you know what i mean so it's like it's it's a maturity on all on all all counts what well, that brings you to another point right here which is the third thing sacrifice and compromise are you willing to sacrifice a part of yourself or compromise with a part of yourself to in order to achieve, you know, having this relationship work? Are you willing to take them to certain little sacrifices? Are you like, you know what? Mm. I kind of know, like, I'm sort of right. Not all the way right. I'm sort of right. But to squash this whole situation, you know what? It's not that big a deal. You know, let her, let her have it. Like, it, it don't got to be something so serious like it's her, like, which is a serious thing is somebody cheating and you willing to compromise on that. I'm not speaking about that. No, no, I'm not speaking so much about that, <laughs> but maybe, maybe, yo, like, think about it. Maybe like at one point in time, yo, man, I am running the streets a little too much. Let me sacrifice a little. Let me pull back. Let me delegate enough time to keep my friends but also sacrifice enough time so I can have for my lady. You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all my niggas. I, I, y'all, we can always pick up and leave off where we left off, and there's no hard fucking feelings. But I do got to make the conscious effort to be around y'all, hang around y'all, certain events. Yo, I have to be there for y'all and shit like that. I got to make it to. That's, you know, that's the sacrifice she makes. Like, okay, I understand. But... She, Every weekend, y'all niggas going out, and every weekend I'm trying to run behind y'all. That's it's like, yo, I gotta sacrifice that. Like, yo, that's not important. Like, like I got somebody at home. I can't be running the streets with y'all every night. Let me stay my ass home. Oh, it's I your birthday. Yeah, it's your birthday. Yeah, it's your birthday party. I'll be there for that. Oh, it's your anniversary. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Throwing the big joint for your anniversary. I'll be there for that. Nothing's wrong with going out every once in a yeah. while with your friends. Not, no, I and, mean, that's what I'm saying. This has to be when you compromise. There has to be an understanding between both of you. It's not. It's not. I'm compromising, and my friends I'll never see again unless there's holidays. Not nah. if you notice. Know if you notice, know thirty days in a month, you guys get to spend time on weekends only because you work, you got kids, whatever the case may be. Y'all delegate that time the way y'all supposed to delegate that time. You know, you got date night. You know, you got to, you know what I mean? There's things y'all want to do. But at the same time, she got to understand that, she, you know, you got to have time with the guys, too. It's a 50-50 it's a situation. You got to be able to know how to walk that line and be able to show her how much you care and have her feel that and be able to still do what you like to do doesn't have to be a complete compromise where you're just completely losing out on a scenario because you both need to compromise. There is, it's not just one sided, you know what I'm saying? And, and I mean, I like to think that me and, and my fiance do a good job at that because there's a lot of times I'd be like, yeah, no, 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 just go with your friends. You got that. You know what I mean? Like, and I get time to chill, not necessarily go out with people, but I get I get my time for things that I like to do. You know what I mean? Whether I want to play Xbox or I want to watch a movie. I'm chilling back smoking. I'm listening to music. I'm doing watching podcasts, doing podcast work, whatever. I get the time to myself and can delegate it however I see fit. And I give that to her as well. But on another note, we work two different schedules. So we see each other on weekends. I have children. They come on weekends. We have to figure out how to compromise and and still give each other time. And it's not always perfect. Sometimes I get the, the conversations like, yo, you know, we're not seeing each other. I'm, I'm missing something and that's going on. Got to fix it. You know what I mean? All right. This is what we're going to do. Make the plan accordingly. Stick to the plan. You know what I mean? That's why I took this whole week off. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's my birthday week, but I plan on spending a lot of time uh, yeah, with my wife. She's off this week as well to celebrate with me. So, I mean, with the exception of today, Monday through Friday, we're going to be doing stuff. Just need, me and her. You need a gas station pill? <laughs> nah, nah, she already know. I'm, I'm, I'm still at the peak. It's about take peak. This, that yeah, just, I'm, that I'm, just I'm about going overboard. Gonna have to, uh, nah, I, don't, I don't need nothing to go overboard. I'm already overboard. You know what I'm saying? The sticker go break it down, put it in yeah. his weed. Yeah. <laughs> he go put you the know, gas, yeah. gas station weed is crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, they got that shit too. What is it called? Uh, oh, you gonna smoke the weed or something like that? Horny go, horny, horny go weed. 
So Dre, man, I'm asking you, man, because you've been asking all the questions. That yo, was was there a point in your relationship with E where you wasn't willing, or she wasn't willing to make the sacrifice for your relationship, and shit got rocky? Like it just got rocky. It didn't get bad, but it got rocky. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's like individual times where we both weren't willing to compromise, but I can say for the most part, that's that might be what we're. I ain't going to say good at, but what we both understand, because if you're in a relationship and my see, I think your version of a relationship also matters because some people think that they're I'll get back to that. Just give me a second. Some people, their version of a relationship is all I got to do is be there sexually, be there for my kids, be there physically, but I can cheat. That's my version of what a relationship is. Uh My version of relationship involves compromise like that's one of the non-negotiables like it's going to be shit that i don't want to do that i have to do it's going to be shit that i want to do that she don't want to do that she has to do or vice versa or times where you both just say whatever so that's my version of relationship and i think we do that um we do that as well as to be expected um any specific times i can't really name because it's, it's kind of what we do if that makes any sense. Well, I'll, I'll speak on myself. When I was with who I'm with now, my babe now. like well, she's here, so. Yeah, so I, I'm going to speak on my <laughs> shit. Like, when I was younger, like I said, when I was 27, like, I was, y'all remember, I was out every weekend. Every time Friday came and I heard the radio come on, I was like, yo, I got to be somewhere, some club or something like that. I have we had to a be, lot of good times. Then. I have to be somewhere. And she kept saying to me, like, you know, you always get to go out. I'm home. I'm stuck with these kids. And you're you're out running the streets. And I wasn't, like like I said, the communication, I wasn't trying to hear that shit. And it was like, yo, you fuck it. And I wasn't willing to compromise that shit because I say, oh, man, you trying to smother me, man. You trying to hold me down. You trying to lock me into some bullshit. Like, you knew this how it was when you met me. You met me at a party. I start coming with all the bullshit. <laughs> I met her at a party. We met at a party. So I didn't want to compromise with that shit. Like, I'm like, I'm going to keep doing what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I'm going to keep going out and keep doing all that shit. And by me doing that and and running the streets, like, parts of my relationship started, like, fucking falling apart. It's like, we ain't talking as much as we used to. It's not as, as the happy vibe night in the crib. We ain't having sex like we, you know what I mean, should be. That shit started falling off, so it was like, yo, kind of led to me fucking ultimately stepping out of my relationship, but not take, when I should have took the step back and like, yo, if maybe if I would have just made a little bit more compromise in what I was doing, maybe all that other shit would have started changing and I probably didn't have to go step out of my relationship because shit would have got better. Like, that's shit I do now. She hit me with something now. It's like, I step back. I, I actually sit there, shut the fuck up. I listen. Take into account, see the goods, the bads. Like, yo, I can do this shit. Like, it ain't that bad. But shit better start changing around here. Like, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a a conscious effort, not just something to make sure. Sh- I'm gonna make a conscious effort to make this change wholeheartedly. No bullshit. I'm gonna go 110 with this shit. But shit better start changing around here. And if it don't, you better tell me what else is wrong. You know what I mean? This situation. You better communicate to me what else is wrong so I can fix that too while I'm fixing this. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't, I'm not going to be compromising myself for, for you not to compromise on your end and we still in the same bullshit. That's a deal. You, only, you yeah. only get but so many compromises Compr- that go to a fault. Yeah. When, you're, you're, when you're compromising and someone else isn't, that love extinguishes fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. And don't get me wrong, when we were in a relationship with the ones with our exes and we felt like we were in love. We were in love at that time. We would do what we needed to for them. But things, there's things that happen that make it extinguish. You know what I mean? Like, it, everything isn't the same. And once things start going on that decline, it's hard for it to come back. So, I mean, it, it's, yeah. it's why we're at where we are now. Yeah, so. so What that, happens that, is supposed to happen. What happens is supposed to happen. So that leads to the next one, man. Have a um, goals and a clear understanding of what y'all went out of this relationship. Niggas don't have that in any facet of their lives. It was it's the number one thing that you should have. It would clear up a lot of the dumb shit people go through in their lives if they have the goals 
and relationships and personally in their life. It would clear up a lot of shit. No, your goal wasn't the your goal wasn't to marry E. It well, see, here's the thing. Back then, I didn't have a goal. We were just we were just dating. We were having fun. But you need goals, period. Because guess what? Let me ask you a question. If your goal is to be successful and is to be as successful in, I don't know, fucking being a lawyer or some shit. You would have to know that being a lawyer requires a lot of time at work on cases and shit. That other person, they might require a lot of time. They don't want you to spend a lot of time away from them. That's something that you can nip in the bud early as hell in a relationship and not when you're fucking three years into your law practice after going to school for fucking 10 years and now you got the stress of them being unhappy because you're spending time at work. So you see what I mean by having goals personally, you can understand what could come in the future and know what's a deal breaker. Same, same thing with if you just getting married, like, Oh, I like to have sex a lot. You know what I'm saying? So whoever I marry, we got to be, we got to get the fucking, you know what I'm saying? We got to get the fucking. <laughs> and that other person might be like, well, that's not that important to me. I like more, you know, I like more just spending time together or whatever, or just kind of doing my own thing. And I catch you when I, that shit that you got to know. So goals and being clear in what you want out of life, including in your relationship, could actually solve a lot of problems before they come. Just well, saying. I I think with the goals, man, and having a goal and understanding what you want out of this relationship, that comes, that really does come, that comes with age and wisdom. You're not going to have that. I did not have a goal in mind between the ages of fucking, I say, because I had a kid at age at a young age, so I'll stay 19 or 20, 20 to at least, at least 35. I was sure at, for- at 30s, I'm at 30. I'm trying to make a, a change, bro. I was too busy enjoying life between the ages of 20, between the ages of 19 and at least 27. I don't, I have no recollection of what happened. I don't, it's clear moments I in my life, but it was, dude, it was a lot of, a lot of blackout, nights. a lot of blackout nights, <laughs> a lot of wild shit that happened that I do shit. kind of remember. I and, think that's a decent time to just explore life, though. You yeah. Know I mean? 19, no, 100% 19, is. 1930. Well, I don't feel like you got to, you don't have, if you don't, if you're not there mentally, then you don't have to feel like you got to compromise for shit. You do what you want to do when you're young. If you want to be with somebody, then you'll decide that at that point. My but, question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, nah, but it is. But I, I'm just saying there's people that, you know, that have been that age and made that decision. Go ahead, Kev. I, I was. Well, hold on real quick. Uh-huh. I agree with Kev real quick. Let me put this in there. That also comes with goals, too. Yeah. Knowing, but, knowing, knowing what you want out of life and knowing, where, you know, knowing where you're going. Here's what I mean. If I know. Don't make fun of me. If I know that, yo, I'm going to take my 20s and just wild the fuck out. Just take down anything that come across and whatever, whatever. Then that also keeps the lane clear for, you know what I'm saying? For when you're ready to settle down, right? Because yeah. if you know you ain't going to be settling down anytime soon, go out and have fun. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? You let women know as they come across you. That way you ain't got nobody living with you. They ain't supposed to live with you. You do what the fuck you want until you're ready to, hey, you know what? I think I'm ready to start. I'm ready to date to be married now, not dating just to date, because there are two separate things. So, but you, but bro, speaking on you, you and Eve was living together. Don't speak 20. on me. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna speak on you. You, you love all of us. Love we. You, all of us had in house pussy Dre at a young a, age. Dre was a lover early. But I'm saying you didn't have no goals in there. Well, now you, you didn't have no goals in with Eve because y'all was living no. together. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not a perfect example of that. I'm just yeah, saying, yeah, but I'm you just stating in- what it is. We all had in house pussy. Having in house pussy was like, at that time, it was like the goal. It was like, yo, I, I was able to wild out in the streets, have fun, but I knew I had pussy to wake, to, to come home and go to bed with in the middle of the night this and to <laughs> and to wake up with. This is terrible. Unless she knows, <laughs> that's just selfish. Unless she knows. <sighs> That, I don't think going on, or unless he knows, excuse me. Yeah, but I don't think at the time I was trying to do that. I thought I was in a real, I thought what I was considered to be in a relationship. Let's be yeah. real. I thought shit was gonna go somewhere. I didn't think it was just, you know, I got in-house pussy. It was like it's kind of looking at the shit long term, 
but not realizing like, yo, I'm still fucking, I'm still only, you know, you at that time, 20, I'm 22, I'm 23, the fuck out. Like, I remember on my 21st birthday, I'm like, yo, I'm in the fucking house, mad at her. Like, why am I in the fucking house? Like, <laughs> I should be in the streets right now. Like, but I ain't had no money because I'm like, I just spent all my money to put in this fucking house. Like, I'm mad. I'm pissed at her. Like, I'm supposed to be in the wind right now. It's my 21st. I think my pops called me up and was like, yo, he was like, come on, you know, my dad, you know, dads do this shit. Dad's my dad. Hit me. Was I was you like, doing at 21 when you was in a you was in a crib with a girl and kids. That, you had one how, kid. I had Kier. I only had one daughter. I only had my daughter at the time. That's the only kid I had at the time. But I had her and my girl and my daughter. And my pops hit me up. He was like, come on, like you 21. Even though I've been drinking way before this, he was like, I'm gonna get you your first birthday drink. I'm like, nigga, what? But I'm like, it's my dad. He's like, no, I want to get you. He said, I know you've been drinking, but I wanted to get you. You officially turned 21 before you go out and party. Let's go have a drink together. It's, you know, signifying that you can buy this shit the illegal way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me show you. So we went and right did that. There. That was that was just something cool to do with my pops. You know what I'm saying to myself? Like, yo, I want to be like, what is niggas doing? Like, <laughs> where are we at tonight? Like, ain't nobody got nothing popping. Like, I know I ain't got no bread with somebody. Like, let's <laughs> let's go some. Ain't nothing. And I'm like, I can't do nothing. I got a girl. That's how I knew I wasn't ready to fucking settle down at that time. I didn't have a goal. I was just happy that she was living with me. I'm ready to go run the streets and go, man, whatever. It's whatever. What's up? Y'all got that going down right now? What's up? Y'all got two of them? Three of them? That I'm there. No, I'm not supposed to be there, but I'm there. I like I like vagina too much when I was young, man. That's what, if I could do it over, I would probably I would probably be single for a while before I would like get settled down. But I like I like the like you said in house vagina too much. To you know what I'm saying? I like it at my fingertips. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's where I I mean I'm be honest like I liked it where I could just all right I knew where my shit was coming from. I ain't had to go hunting all the time. Yeah, I like, I like the, the vagina in my. Nah, nah, I understand what he's saying. Yeah. I was just watching a show called uh, what was I watching a show called Al- Alone? It was in the wilderness. You would watch. Had, it. Yeah, I do watch it like that. And they had to hunt for their own food, and then niggas was losing fifty pounds because oh man, I wish I just had a cheeseburger. That's what in house pussy is like. <laughs> <laughs> in house pussy that now. Yeah, in house in house pussy is like yo. Anytime I start to feel that sensation, especially in your twenties, come on, she right there. When you on a hunt, it's like, yo, I done called 10. I done called a bunch of them. They all got something to do right now. Yeah, now so I got, yeah, now I'm roaming the streets and I'm looking at shit that ain't <laughs> supposed to be in the bed with me, but willing to go to bed with me. And I'm saying to myself, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Like, I got to bust a nut, dog. And then as you bust that nut, the real reality comes back in like, this bitch looks like a... Uh, no, Look like grimace. Can't put forty dollars on the table and keep fuck her again. You, you, <laughs> this motherfucker look like grimace. Like I fuck grimace. <laughs> like <laughs> putting a fucking hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> that, but that's where your brain goes. I think that's you know. Wis- listen, wisdom comes with age, so you know what you should have did after you did the shit that you shouldn't have did. That's all. That's all this shit is when it comes to this. You know what you want after you got what you didn't want, and now you're like, oh shit, I want that. You know what I'm saying? So, That's what so here's the last thing. We're going to wrap this up after this is the last thing to wrap it up. Finally, ensuring both parties are committed to making this relationship work and willing to put in the effort to maintain it. That's the last thing when you at that point right there. Y'all, y'all, y'all trying to make it work and y'all trying to maintain that thing. Which that's, is, that's that's yeah. marriage. That's yeah, that's <laughs> that's what that look and people think is it people think it's smooth sailing after you get married too. Nah, it ain't it's work and it ain't work all the time. The reward obviously out out you know precedes that, but it's it's work and that's a big part of it. Everything you just said. So yeah, doesn't get easier, bro. Uh, it doesn't, but I mean you got to maintain the get you got to maintain a good relationship to get to that point to get married. You know what I'm saying? You got to work at something to 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 want to get married. Like you just you just can't up and say I'm dating this motherfucker for 2 years and now we're we're going to get married. You had to have your your ups and downs. The communication had to get stronger. Uh you you had to compromise and shit like that. 
you know what I mean? You had to do all, all the other things we brought up along the relationship. You had to do all them fucking things to get to this point. Now you're just maintaining this, this thing that falls apart every day. Don't get it twisted. Y'all you, you, motherfuckers that listening, even at my age now, shit still happens. Shit still goes down. And you really got to like, yo, let's patch this up. Boom. Let's get this right. You have them. Come on. We all had a week that we went through. The hell we through with our wives or somebody we went through or a couple of days. You're like, man, yo, let's fix this shit. Like, this shit is becoming a problem right now. Dre, you might be past that point because you're looking like you are. I said a week. You ever been through a month of that? Or you like, oh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to fucking make it out this motherfucker, dog. Like, we got to look. You, we got to look in the future to see if this is really, you know what I mean? And then you got to just, and then the situation just kind of has to change in order for shit that, yeah, nigga, this shit gets, this shit gets real. Shit, bro. Gets I, real. Yo, I, I, yeah, I think I was there recently. I was like, yo, we like, I'm like, man, fuck this shit. It's like, it's, I'm like, yo, it's over. Like, like, it was just bad for like, like you said, for like a month. And I'm like, yo, this shit is over. Sitting there laying like it, I I really gotta let this the fuck go. It's like this is I didn't tried everything, I done did everything. That and, shit's hard too. Yeah, it was hard. And but I what made us get through through that situation, it was a it was a stone that I still didn't realize I haven't overturned, thinking I overturned everything. Right. And I and I've like I've dug really deep, looked deep within myself and I overturned that stone. I'm like, God damn, this was the fucking problem. Like, where the fuck was you at four weeks ago, motherfucker? Like, where was you at four weeks ago when I needed you? If I'd have known this was the problem, I think four weeks ago, I'd have been straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, that, but you, 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 we going through everything else, the petty arguments, the real arguments, the bullshit, the not talking, the walking by in the crib and looking at each other with the meme, but you could feel the, the energy. The, yeah. the energy is just so off. You don't even you just feel disgusted. Around. It's like Move away from me. Like the quick, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I don't like we, it. I don't we, like it. We, we've been I don't there. Like it. But that's but that's what I'm saying. Where that's how you know you with the right person because you are trying. You ain't killer yet. Yeah, you are <laughs> trying your damnedest to make this shit work. And you looking at yourself like, this bitch, I can throw her off the build, <laughs> off the Empire State. I can throw this motherfucker off the Hoover Dam. <laughs> I should Aruba this bitch. I should just take her to Aruba and Aruba this bitch. Really? And leave her there? <laughs> There's a boy. I think really? he, the boy killed the girl in Aruba or some shit like that. I was not was, familiar with the way you were using it. Yeah, that's why I said that. That's why Aruba, you knew what I was talking about. Yeah, really? She yeah. just Aruba that bitch. You the, said leave it there? Yeah, leave it there. The authorities don't not even look lie. for it that good. <laughs> <laughs> Joke, oh, I wouldn't do that shit. shit. I wouldn't Jesus do that shit. She, we got kids yeah. together. You man. gotta hate I, a motherfucker to do that shit. Yeah, you gotta hate the Aruba bitch. I got kids <laughs> together, but I would yeah, never international do that. International waters did. killer. Yeah, let me huh, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. And I hate that I got this from another podcast. Go ahead. His dog is barking. That's why he's muting himself. Shut that bitch up. Nah, we want to say what was actually going down. His fucking dog. Cause he cut his balls off. He ain't never get no pussy. So that nigga always barking all the goddamn time. You don't know how to act. He let that dog bust a nut. He would act retarded as he acting. He probably just be sitting there <laughs> eating the biscuit, laid up, <laughs> thinking about some pussy he gonna get tomorrow. <laughs> Say there with all his energy, packing his nuts in and leave. <laughs> That's what I think about. That's where my mind goes at. He said all this energy packed where his nuts used to be. <laughs> it's, just, hey, it's just a flat flab of skin now. Ugh. It's just yeah. flat. It's just like a fucking... <laughs> um, I hate that I got this from another podcast, but you was talking about compromise and shit like that. So a guy wrote into another podcast and I had my own theory about what, you know, what was going on. He said he waited to have sex with his fiance. He waited like they never had sex, right? Then they got married. And apparently she has this like trauma that she went through. This is what he says. Trauma that she went through that involves like sexual, which we'll call it. And she's not comfortable having sex. And it's been four years since she had sex with him. Oh, man. What do y'all think about that? <sighs> They're already yeah. married. They're already married and they've been married for four years. Two things what is she doing to, to at least never had a situation? I have no idea. I have no because idea. Because four with. years. He's fucking somebody else. Yeah. My man's got knees. She got to. She got to start buying women for him. 
Yes. I think she's a man. Oh, oh that'd be cool. That's what I think. Cuckoo, when cuckoo. I heard it, I was like, cuckoo, oh, yeah, she's a dude. Cuckoo, crazy. I said, she a dude, nigga. She, she, she got you. <laughs> she, she uh, don't say that, yo. I told you that happened to one of my great uncles. And he got, and he, he killed her? He, he almost, he was almost dead. He he got, he waited, he waited and waited. He court, this is a long, this got in mind, this is when you used to court a woman, when you had to court him and all that. You wasn't into all the sexual things. Like, this is a long time ago. This is talking about the 50s and shit. So he courted her, finally married her, took her, took her home. It was even that good back then. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, hey, listen, there was some strong face looking bitches back in the 50s. Yeah. There some you, ever, you, ever, you, ever, you ever see you ever see black women in the 50s? There was some strong face looking women in the fucking 50s. That motherfucker Earth the Kit. You ever see a picture of her when she looked young? Earth the Kit was gorgeous. What? No, oh, man. They had a picture of Earth the Kit. Excuse me. Hold on. Yeah. In the 70s. In the 70s. Man, how old is she? That was dead. How old was she in the 70s? Huh? How old is she? Dead. <laughs> like, like, it's terrible. <laughs> nah, man. Earth the kid had a strong. That yeah. motherfucker had a strong face back in the day, man. By the time she did boomerang, she had to be about like sixty, right? I don't know, seventy. Bro. But she had a picture in the seventies. She was Earth the kid had a strong ass face. Her face was kind of strong. She looked. I'm looking right here now. Nineteen forty two. She wasn't that bad. But when that motherfucker got about here, she's been at him. Come on, man. Motherfucker face kind of strong. I mean, yeah, she did have a little <laughs> nigga. She had a kind of a little nigga face. Hey, a little. Hey, hey, go, a go, little go, look, go look back at some of these women that I know. Women I seen had kid had some strong ass Yo, faces back might, in the fifties. You might have a case for what you're saying <laughs> when I'm looking at these. Like, all right, I can see how a nigga might uh. He might get that confused. Look like, at a strong ass face, though. That's a strong ass face. That's a strong, beautiful masculine bitch. Damn, yeah, that's some strong faces back in the day. So he, he got he got fifty two fake out. Took her home, lift the dress out, man, and, and and lo behold, that thing rolled out on him. I'm got talking about f- being married. He was married. He married her. He married. He, he, this is the fifties, so you couldn't have sex with your bride until you got married. That's the the Here's thing. Him. He married her, got her home. It was the, the night to consummate the marriage. Man, listen. He said he got a whole handful of the thing. No, rolled out, <laughs> rolled out on the nigga and punched him right in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what I'm saying, but back to the homie that ain't have sex in four years, dog. You, you, that lady got to compromise on something. She said he she's been in therapy. And all that Man. because of this trauma. So I'm asking you guys, Man. would you be willing to compromise that much with somebody you love, especially nope. if you're trying to live by the right path? Like, oh, I'm not having nope. sex, I'm married, and all. Okay, all right. Nope. Got you. Four years, I ain't in prison, dog. I can see I was in jail. I can wait all day. Whoa. I'm home. I can wait. Yeah, till wait. You got? Nah, I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing like my boy the uh the you booty man did. Wait. I'm with <laughs> nah, it's too much, dog. Like, come on, man. Four years is a long time. Four years to be Very long time. Yo, if you yeah. get married and you intend on having kids, like that's that, that should have been talked about beforehand, before marriage. That's, that's, that's where the communication saying. comes in because like you got like yo, I want kids. That right there would have ended it. Well, I don't really want to have sex at all because. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You don't want to have what? Oh, I'm sorry. Relationship over, bitch. Yeah. She at least jerking the nigga. Who gonna live with us so I can fuck them? Because that's what's gonna happen. I'm sorry. Like I'm going to. I'm not even gonna cheat, yo. We we. I'm good, yo. Go get yourself right for the next man. I still love you. Hey, when you ready to fuck, come fuck with me. But that is a deal breaker for me. Like Kev said. You gotta have uh like a what is it? You know they have like a, a nanny. A na- they gotta have a nanny. You know how the nanny breastfeeds the baby. All right, we better be somebody uh milking me too. That's that's what you yeah, paying for. You that's what I'm saying. saying. You gotta be cool with me having she be, somebody. She gotta, she gotta pay for it. She gotta she gotta bring some women. The, in the, the there's no love. There's no love in this shit. It's just me busting the nuts. So you you know how emotional niggas get or how. Bad tensions getting you had sex in a couple of like a week. Niggas get niggas Bro. start to look at their girl side eye like let's better hand over some pussy. My wife, she thinks that, oh no, you making that up. I'm trying to tell. I said, no. You really one day we'll actually talk about it. You really carry that shit with you. 
and you are aggravated all the time when you go to bust that nut when y'all fuck and all of a sudden I'm cooking I'm doing this I'm doing whatever you need now and I be telling her like you don't see a difference this is not in my mind I'm genuinely uh, aggravated with your ass. Yeah. <laughs> you give you me wanna, that. You want to change things? You come and bust this nut right now for me, and then you get whatever you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> no, it's a, I'm going to do whatever. I'm going to do shit. It's just different, bro. It's different. It's, yeah. it's a reason fighters. It's the a sun, reason fighters don't have. It's the a reason fight, fighters don't have sex before fights. They have this pent up rage in them that they're about to go release on the nigga. Like you, 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 you are man. You are ready to do. You're ready to go to war. I remember one time. I, I think we was going through something, man. It got to like a month. That like that motherfucker said something to me. This is when my ex house with this shit got to a month. That bitch, I that motherfucker sneezed the wrong way. I cussed her the fuck out. I was like, man, fuck this shit. I'm ready to leave your funky ass. <laughs> fuck you and your and your awkwardly sneezing ass. Like, I'm the fuck out. <laughs> oh, you want me to bless you, but you're not gonna bless me. That's right. crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right. But they the women they they think you just talking. Oh, you just no, nigga. This shit is absolute. I'm pretty sure if they can prove it scientifically, they probably already did. It's a scientific fact. If your husband, girls, but I know we don't talk to y'all often. If your husband is walking around, he's aggravated, he mad for no fucking reason. If you give him some pussy or at least show them that, you know, you know, aid him in busting in that, whatever, however you do it, watch all that shit go away and watch he's more malleable. Watch he's more softer with the kids. Watch he just becomes like, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm sorry. That's the way God made us. That's the way that we work. That's why jail is so fucking crazy. You think them niggas is walking around stabbing each other because they just bad human beings? No, a bunch of them walking around, not partaking in the, you know, whatever, whatever goes on. And they got that pent up rage. And that's the shit that happened. This is a side note. It's going to go completely off topic. I'm going to bring it back around. If y'all let the female inmates mingle with the male inmates and they had a relationship long as these wasn't like killers. I think you should I think you should put the killers with the killers. But if you let these niggas like let the females and the males integrate and have a relationship and be co-mingled in the cell, it'd be a lot less fights in jail. Motherfuckers yeah. be motherfuckers be coming yeah. out they cell to have conversations and chill. Yeah, rethink that. Huh? Rethink that. Come on, man. You be fighting. Rethink that. I'm just saying, like a nice dorm, a nice big dorm. Say, like <laughs> the dorm, of like, he, like everybody in their relationship, they happy who they happy who they with. Say the girls and the guys, they happy with the girl they with because they, yo, they really what have in jail. When they cheat, they have jail, they be in jail. They, they kill be, them. oh, it'd be a rap, <laughs> exactly. it'd be a rap in jail, exactly. It'd be a rap in jail as soon as they cheat, but they be they be, in, they be in jail, like flushing the toilet because the female inmates might be downstairs talking to each other, having relationships through the through the toilet. Like, literally, this is a real thing, it's not no bullshit. right? If you let them just like chill. Man, I would come out my cell like I'm not, like, and the threat was if you get into a fight or altercation, they take your girl away from you. Y'all separated for a month. Oh, I'll be the best behaved. Mm-hmm. Everybody, Everybody be chilling. Like, bro, we both get into a fight. We jacking off for like the next month, son. Like, let's just chill. Yeah, I don't like, want to discuss that with you, though. Nah, but you, you, you going to talk a nigga off. You going to talk a nigga Say off. The we. Yeah. Fuck you. I fuck you going to use we with like, that. Yeah, I was saying, nigga. <laughs> Them niggas doing a lot of worse shit in jail than talk about jacking the fuck off to each other. Let's, just, let's be real about that. A lot, of, a lot of worse conversation and talk about jacking off with each other in jail. Well, in prison, let's be ready. Let's be real. And that, that conversation right there. Oh, shit. It's they okay. hurt. Hey, you ready? Uh, yeah. I, I, just, I think you I go think first. Do a deep dive into that. <laughs> deep, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, being polite. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yo. We can't die. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. All I know is no. And 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 just so I can add to what you just said, mm-hmm. I do think pussy should be offered to inmates, though. Like, yeah. like I'm a human being still. Yeah. I'm a human being still. Don't have me in here with a bunch of niggas about to get stabbed or or beat up every day. And all I can do is go lift weights or pleasure myself. Give me access to a fucking woman that is 
of sound mind and she wants to, you know, if I got to, my family has to pay her or whatever, I need access to a motherfucking woman. Yeah. Man, listen, if you gave, let me tell you what happened. Government I know we're going way off topic. In jail. If <laughs> niggas could pay for hoes in prison by working that free labor, all your yeah. inmates, you, because you got to be on good behavior to have a job. Every inmate will be on good behavior and working their ass off and they hold check. Fuck commissary. It be assessary. That's all it that's all they're gonna be paying. Pussessary. Whatever that whatever yeah, you, you want to call it. Are you happy with that? Yeah, are you, are you happy with that joke? Well, not I wasn't even a joke. It's serious. <laughs> I mean shit, I'm not even joking. All your pussy money for commissary. You proud of yourself. Will go, all <laughs> your will go to prostitution. How much credit you got on your pussessary? <laughs> I got like 10 credits. You want you want to bet that? Let's gamble that. Let's give it up to that pussy. Nah, nigga, 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 niggas ain't hey, gambling. Yo, and niggas yo, ain't gambling. Yo, no, I ain't gambling pussy. Nah, you ain't gambling, pussy. Nah, ain't gambling yo, your yo, pussy, yo, bro. Yo, yo, nah, yo. I gamble on these pack of oodles and noodles. A I ain't gambling on your ass. Yeah. Nigga, what? Nigga, 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 nigga let, let, let you cheat on the dice. Let you cheat on the dice, nigga. See, that was a seven. Nah, man, that was a six. Oh, it's going to be a blood bath. I'm just saying. Niggas in jail going to always find a reason to fight. Man, I ain't fight. If I got a woman in jail and... I know I can keep her because I'm on good behavior. I'm on good fucking behavior. Hey, bro, get up out my face. You must be on some other shit. You must like being a booty bandit in here. I don't because that's why you want to fight niggas. Cool. Go be a booty bandit somewhere else, my G. Nah, that's different. You are a legit booty bandit in prison. You that, that ain't no other way to call it. Ain't no niggas willingly right. giving that shit up. Okay. Out here, out in the streets, free. That's called There's the lifestyle you live in. They're freely giving it up. Oh God! Uh, somebody, <laughs> listen, I don't know how we got on niggas running the cheeks <laughs> in saying, prison. I'm nigga, sure you missed the cheeks. Yeah. I missed the cheeks. That's what, <laughs> there's a nigga. There's a nigga in there <laughs> called Mr. Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> <prison. laughs> you the the beam is the Ben leaves the Ben. I like stay away, yo, stay away from that cell right there. Why? That's Mr. Cheeks over there, dog. Why they call him Mr. Cheeks? You get too close to that cell, you'll find out. Nah, but uh, yeah, man. Let, listen, let's wrap this shit the fuck up, man. Like, to, like all jokes aside, man. Listen, man. This was just just basically a, a topic, man, because we know there's some dudes out there that's enjoying life, man. That's young and shit. Enjoy that shit. You know I mean, enjoy it, live it up, man. Don't don't lock yourself into something or thinking of something. There's females out there. Take this information we give you. If you don't see some of these telltale signs in your relationship, this is a good way to be it out. Instead of having four niggas, four babies by this nigga, and then and he leaves you and gets married to the next chick, and, and they all your four kids be going over there for Christmas and shit like that, and you tight and don't want to let go of y'all the thing y'all used to have. Use this information we give y'all, man. It's, it's, it's for y'all, this shit. You know what I'm saying? We've been there. We've been through the shit. I, especially me. I got all types of baby mamas. I got more baby mamas than I got kids. You know what I'm saying? Remember, <laughs> he said he put his dick through the ringer, so you know he didn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cheeks. Listen, <laughs> my advice, know yourself, love yourself. If you can't do either one of those things, Learn how to do them before you go and put yourself in any of those situations. Know yourself and love yourself. Because if you know what you want, then you'll know what you need to expect from the opposite sex. If you love yourself, then you can love that person properly. That's all I got. And take the time. Take the time. Sometimes you got to learn a person to make that decision. You know what I mean? Some people you'll know right off the bat, like, nah, this ain't for me. But like Kev had to do, sometimes you got to flip them stones. You got to take a little time to see, see, you got to scratch past the surface and see what is really, what it really is. It might take a year. It might take two years. You know what I mean? If you feel as though that person is right for you, you got to make sure because you don't want to get married and pull up the dress and it rolls out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>